you guys know I made no attempt to kill the beetle that was in the urban worm bag. However, the other day he was climbing around and I couldn't find him and I shared that with you guys in my video that he was on the outside rim of the urban worm bag and I panicked, left him be. This mortar tray, which is underneath of my urban worm bag, I was pulling it out, I'm doing some harvesting today. And look at that guys, he is dead. That was our beetle friend. Hey everybody, it's Emily the Crazy Worm Lady. Here today with the Urban Worm Bag. And we've got a ton of climbers. And I'm honestly wondering if these guys are hungry. Because we have been kind of starving this bin. So um, we're definitely going to give them a feeding today. But I did want to just peek in here, see what it looked like. So I'm going to get all this bedding pulled back, we'll take a look at the castings and get these guys fed up because I think that's why they're going exploring on us. Combination of it's super humid, been raining on and off, but more importantly, I don't think they have any food left. Alright, so here's what we have peel back a lot of the cardboard layers and there are really not worms in any one area because their food source is gone. So I think that's why we had all those climbers. They were looking for some food but the um, moisture in here feels relatively good. Um, it's actually a little bit dry but um, I'm sure with our feeding that problem will be fixed real quickly but there are worms pretty much throughout everything and again always keep in mind I dig in the CFT for you guys um, but in general if you don't want worms in your finished compost you really do not want to be digging very deep in these systems because you want it to get compact and you want the worms to move up and out of the bottom so I don't know where I want to feed this because there is really a whole bunch of nothing going on in here Good news is I can see night crawlers as well as the blue worms. So they're living harmoniously together. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to kind of level out the top here and use some of this existing bedding in here as a base that we will feed on top of. And we'll just kind of feed across the whole surface here and then we will um, cover everything up with some more bedding. So let me grab the food and we will get these guys fed up. All right, so I put um, some neem cake in here to try to keep down the pests as well as plenty of crushed uh, oyster shell. I have a big bucket full of food here, but if you see all the liquid that's drained out of these, um, that is why I'm not just dumping it. I want some of that moisture to stay in the um, container there, not all go into the system because this is some wet, wet stuff. So I'm thinking I'm going to feed both of these bags, but I'm going to make sure I really drain off the excess liquid because otherwise we're going to end up with a big problem on our hands. So, see if I can do this one-handed. I'm going to try to drain the liquid back into my mixing bowl here. 
There we go. I use this liquid um, to moisten down my vermi bag. The vermi bag tends to run on the drier side. So I run any sort of extra liquid from my fruit and veggie scraps through that system. So let me get this out of here. And we will feed the rest of this in here. So, as you can see, this is a ton of food. This is a huge feeding. Um, I do think the system can handle it. I don't know if my bug-phobic self can handle it, but the system can. We have so many worms in here. Um, there's no doubt in my mind that they can handle this in roughly a week. So, um, that's what we're looking at right now, guys. It's a lot of food. And now we need to make sure we add plenty of bedding. So. Oh, that doesn't, didn't work well. I dropped this right into my system here. Now I'm going to have to wipe this shredder basket off. But this is just shredded newspaper. And I think I'm going to have to shred up some more because we want to make sure that we cover this stuff up real, real well. So let me shred a little bit more and then we will um, finish up the update. All right, so I was ambitious. I filled it way higher than it needs to be, um, but I figured better be safe than sorry. I also sprinkled a little bit of the diatomaceous earth in with um, the bedding here. That will help if any bugs start to climb around. Hopefully that will kill them. Um, but regardless, it has some nutrient value as well. But I'm hoping with all this extra bedding, um, it will be able to handle the moisture. We won't have as many climbers. First of all, if they have enough food, they won't be climbing. But also, uh, it'll keep it from building up a lot of condensation inside. Because this is our most ambitious feeding to date. Uh, this was over four pounds. So um, I just want to err on the side of caution. So I think we've successfully covered everything really, really well. So we will leave this for a week and see what happens. So drop your comments below, like this video, and subscribe if you'd like some more content from me. And next week I'm going to show you guys the brand new Urban Worm Bag that I just got in the mail. Have a great night.